session. Today's session is actually quite timely. I feel I'm very thankful to the Children's and Teens Desk for arranging today's session because as uh, offline school is starting, uh, we are a bit perplexed. Abhi tak online schooling tha, online education tha. Uske saath saath bachche online bahut sare social media access kar rahe the, games access kar rahe the. They were chatting on WhatsApp hangouts. So what is the middle path to slowly go get into offline schooling? So these are some questions uh, I hope I can answer during today's session. And if you have any questions, please post them uh, on the chat over here. Or uh, if you're watching this on Facebook Live or on YouTube, you are free, free to post your questions there as well. Okay. So uh, please let me know if you can view my screen. I'm just going to share my screen here. So before I start off, I want to ask, who do you think this session is for? So all of my colleagues who are here on the Zoom chat, can you please help me by putting it on chat? Who do you think this session is for? Yes. It's for parents. It's for children. Yes, indirectly it is for children, but uh, more so for parents to enable them to understand, uh, you know, where, what are some red flags and where to put a stop? Absolutely. Thank you for that, Mahishji. Anyone else? Okay. This session is for anyone who is struggling with long hours on social media. It is a digital detox, right? While I am aiming this for parents and uh, particularly for teenagers or small children, uh, the tips that I'm sharing here can help anybody who is struggling with uh, an online uh, addiction or wants to do an online uh, detox. Uh, adults, obviously, with kids or teenagers at home who have long screen hours. If you are a parent, if you are a new parent, you are going to be a parent. Uh, if you are a grandparent, then this is definitely a session for you today. And most importantly, this session is for those who are committed to taking positive action. Awareness is the first step. Jesse Gurudev says that kisi bhi problem ki awareness is the first step towards solving it. It has to be followed by positive action. That acceptance has to be positive, right? So this is one of my favorite quotes by one of my favorite people. So as you can see here, Gurudev has said that technology can both be a boon and a bane. It depends on how we use it. So when technology is combined with spirituality, we can bring so much of comfort to people. And it can be used to feed millions, to educate millions. And we have seen that during lockdown, how online education came to the rescue for a lot of schools and educational institutes and for children. How many of you all agree with me? Yes? Oh, yes? <laughs> Thank you. So these are some numbers. Uh, uh, we have had this session earlier also. But still, whenever I... And I have been presenting this for... Uh, quite some time now, but these numbers still stun me. When I numbers, So let us understand what these numbers are. Any guesses? Yes? What are these numbers? Okay. Uh, this data is as uh, recent as uh, January 2022. So 690 lakh is the number of urban preteens and teens owning a mobile phone. Um, matlab, towns and uh, small cities and towns and rural India ki baat bhi nahi kar rahe hai. Waha pe bhi kaafi bacho ke haath mein aaj mobile phone hai. They have access to this device. 45% is the internet penetration in 2021 in India. More than half, and this number has actually increased since the last time we have put it here. And age two is the typical age a child will start using a smartphone. Ek bache ke haat mein smartphone diya jata hai. And bahut dharo mein aap jante reality hai ki it is even younger than that. Why is this a concern? Let me ask you a question. Let's start off with a little bit of interaction. Please answer this honestly for yourself. Are you worried about your child's current online or internet usage? You, know, you can just put it in the chat. Yes, no, or maybe. Are you worried? If you're a child, you can put it for yourself or your parent also. <laughs> 
Yes, 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 yes. It's a resounding yes, isn't it? And the right reason. Uh, what I'm sharing here is uh, just a little bit of information about the human brain. So the human brain is divided into four main cortexes, the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, occipital, and the temporal lobe. And the cerebellum and the brainstem are supporting uh, it. Now, what happens is when uh, we are using, when we are seeing um, something like a mobile screen or an iPad or the laptop, uh, the brain's frontal lobe, prefrontal lobe is overstimulated. So you must have noticed that if you are mobile phone and after that, you have a book, it looks very boring. Because your frontal lobe is overstimulated, overstimulated hai, that lower stimulation is not interesting your brain anymore. Now what happens when the prefrontal lobe or frontal lobe is overstimulated, a few things happen. The brain consumes over 25% of the body's energy. That's right. Aap Whatever air you breathe, whatever body ko energy mil rahi hai, 25% of it goes to the brain. And especially in younger children, brain development is at its highest. Think of this. There is a colony where there are four phases. And jitni bhi electricity is going to one phase. Ko jari hai, and because all the electricity is going to phase one, phase two, three and four don't get electricity or get very little electricity. How do you think the others are going to feel about it? You're understanding what I'm saying? Because all the energy or maximum energy is going to the frontal cortex, which is overstimulated, the other, part, the other lobes are deprived of energy, which means that things like, uh, like you are watching, reading, orientation, vision, language, behavior, memory, these are all the effect hota. And that's what you will see. Uh, that children who have been exposed to too much of screen time have difficulty reaching their milestones. Reading delayed, hoti hai, speech delayed. Hoti hai. And these are just you know, initial observations. The long-term effects uh, or rather the long-term uh, side effects, we don't even know that till now. The sad news is this is permanent. During day brain development, if the other lobes are deprived of energy, the growth milestones are missed, the neural pathways are delayed, there is a very high chance they may not even form properly, which means the children who are exposed to screen for a long time can have developmental delays uh, or developmental deficits which will Continue even when they are adults. I guess you can understand why I am so concerned about this and why you are so concerned about this. Now, because this is also a presentation about detox, uh, it's important to... Uh, this is information that we know all. I have just put it here as a reminder for us that uh, cell phones emit a radiation, which is uh, uh, low low frequency, radio frequency uh, EMR, which is microwave radi radiation. Huh? And for children, the damage is 10 times higher because their skulls are thinner, their bones are thinner. Compared to an adult, uh, you know, if an adult is using a phone, kar raha hai, so the radiation, some of it can get countered by the thickness of the skull. But for a child whose skull is still developing, whose brain is still developing, the Danger is 10 times higher. The damage is 10 times higher. And more, you know, it's faster. Uh, actually, the younger the child is, the greater the risk of brain cancer and brain tumors, which will not form right now, but later in life. And it could also, in fact, research suggests this, but we have ourselves seen this. Ki if you have been using the phone or you have been watching the TV, if you are watching and suddenly someone has asked something, you are very irritable. You feel very unsettled. Feel karte ho. Yeah, uh, if a child is using the phone and suddenly you are talking to them or you are taking the phone away, they suddenly become very aggressive, which is not the child's true nature. But this behavior does get affected by the exposure they have to radiation. Children uh, get hyperactive. They have emotional behavioral problems. 
uh, it also affects their social skills. Uh, we are seeing this today. Children prefer to stay at home and watch their screens rather than go out and play. Play is very important. Physical play is very important for children's brain development and social skills development. Ke liye bhi. They learn about teams, they learn about leadership, they learn about accepting, they learn about fighting and making up. These are very important social skills that they will need later on when they start their careers as adults or even in their family life. So this is all that is getting deprived to a child who is addicted to their screen. Why should we be worried? Isn't it? Brain is, uh, like I said, it's, it's the most important organ in the human body. Uh, it takes up more than 25% of the energy. And the, uh, you know, maze ki baat ye hai ki the brain doesn't stop growing. Uh, there is research which says ki 25, 30, 35 years that the brain grow hote rehta. And that's why you will suddenly find people in their 40s appear to be more mature. Isn't it? Because life's experience has shaped uh, and their brains have developed. And the older a person gets, the more wise, uh, the more experienced they are, the better, the better they are at decision making. That's because the brain is constantly growing. When a child's brain is exposed to such damage from radiation and by overstimulation of the frontal cortex, the brain damage can be permanent. Underdevelopment of the remaining brain parts means that probably they will have those issues for the rest of their life. And no amount of counseling, therapy, nutrition can make up for the damage which has already been done. So prevention here is definitely better because there is no cure. There is a market decrease in ability to focus or pay attention. We have seen this. You know, the sheer amount of information that is fed into the brain, brain overwhelms it. Children are constantly, not just children, even adults who are spending a lot of time on screen find it very difficult to um, focus on anything. We are so used to scrolling that after you stop it, you know, uh, you have just peeped in for a five-minute check on social media or scrolling and when you raise your head up, it's two hours gone. Two hours ke baad and uske baad aap kisi bhi cheez pe focus nahi kar paate hai. You know, our attention span has reduced to like 45 seconds and maybe even lower, 10-12 seconds. You are seeing that videos are being made of 10-12 seconds. That's the attention span of today's younger generation. It definitely affects their social skills. They may be able to connect with their friends virtually, but it takes away from a real world connection. Friendships, uh, you know, skills on how to interact, how to speak, reading body language. There are so many small ways in which we communicate with, e with each other. A virtual talk really robs a child from that opportunity. There is so much. The soft skill training is a billion dollar industry. But you know, something which is freely available to the child through play, simple physical play, going down and playing with your friends, something which is so easily available. We, if we don't invest in it now, uh, I don't know how much we can help them in the future. And the most important thing, it disturbs their sleep. Aapko pata hai, both the brain and the body grow only and only during sleep. There's a reason why Mother Nature has given one third of the day's time to sleep. There's a reason why we say eight hours of sleep. And in fact, for growing children, small babies sleep for up to 18 hours a day. That's because their brain and body is developing. In fact, young children and teenagers need about nine to 10 hours of sleep. That's the reason you may see a lot of teenagers feeling sleepy. They are not being lazy. It's their body's need. And when sleep gets disturbed, again, like I said, these are growth milestones which the body misses and may not be able to catch up with later. Sleep is very important for memory. Everything that the, that the brain has observed during the day, whether it's studies, whether it's learning, whatever it is, din bhar mein jo bhi brain ne observe kiya hai, it is processed during sleep and it gets into long-term memory or experiences. That's you know, that is the kit from where brain will draw information in the future. And if we are not allowing the child to have a good quality, healthy sleep, if it is disturbed, then the brain's ability to process information and retrieve it when it is needed also gets hampered in a big, big way. I'm sorry, it's very technical. Hai. 
So, uh, any questions? Uh, I would request the media team to please post any questions coming on uh, Facebook or YouTube because I am uh, not able to check that directly. So, please do help me with that. Any questions so far? So, I'll do a quick, quick recap why we should be worried about the time that our children are spending uh, in front of the screen because the radiation as well as the content can damage the brain permanently. It decreases focus and attention span, affects their social skills and most importantly, it disturbs their sleep which is a very important physiological need of any growing child or anybody for that fact. Now, are you worried or concerned about your child's internet usage? I know. We all are. So, this is just uh, something which I thought, uh, you know, there are some parents who say maybe. <laughs> this is the last slide for me to convince them. This is nothing but a thermographic image of uh, the head of the brain of an adult after a 15-minute phone call. So, you can see that the areas which are heated are shown by yellow and red areas. And this is an adult. We know uh, how much more the damage is for a young child. Using the phone is extremely, extremely dangerous for your child. Let us understand how can we detox or reduce the effects of this more so during this presentation. Um, I'm uh, now moving into uh, the neuro-linguistic programming or you know the mind or uh, the functioning of the brain or the mind here now. Let us understand what is behavior, habit, and addiction. Can some of y'all here help me type in what do you understand by behavior, what is a habit, and what is an addiction? It would be nice if you type in. Yes, Mahesh Kumarji, uh, I don't think so we can unmute anyone during the live stream, but you can definitely type in your question. So what is a behavior, a habit, and an addiction? Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for the answer. That's right. Okay, let's see. Okay, these are some terms. So behavior is how one consciously responds to situation. Kisi se bhi, habits and addiction are more intense than behavior. Parampal Singh ji, bilkul sahi ka aapne. It's more hardwired into the brain. So behavior like when you meet a new person, maybe you are consciously saying namaste, jai gurudev or hello. You know, that is a conscious way to respond. A habit is when a behavior is repeated continuously, it forms neural pathways. The brain is a very efficient machine. It doesn't want to keep investing energy somewhere. So when it sees ki this person is doing inka ye behavior constant, hai, wo adat ho jati, like brushing your teeth. It's initially uh, or any new habit you're forming, like exercising, getting up, doing your meditation, anything. So in, even bad habits for that matter. Initially, when the behavior is done constantly, the brain says, ye to constant, ye to continuous uh, you know, pattern ho gaya hai. So why don't I stop investing too much energy in this? Now, instead of consciously doing this, let me get it into the subconscious. And that's where it begins, becomes a habit. Aapko pata hai, when we brush, we use the same stroke, the style of brushing. Jitne, jo bhi aap brush karte ho, it is exactly the same every, every day. That is how efficient our brain is. So habit is behavior hardwired into the brain and addiction is the last stage. Addiction is such a strong subconscious obsession that chaha kar bhi, habit to fir bhi aap chaha kar break kar sakte ho. It needs some effort but you can break the habit. Addiction is where you need external help. Uh, and the bad thing about addiction is if you have a tendency for addiction, just say if you have a tendency to shop there's an addiction to shopping or there's a mobile addiction there is a very high possibility that you will get into gambling and other kinds of addictive behavior in the future so addiction should be identified as soon as possible and put a stop to as soon as possible and that includes uh, drug and alcohol addiction as well Now, this is one of my favorite slides. This is just so beautiful, the way our brain works. Why do we form a habit? Why are we addicted? Uh, Mahesh Kumar, you'll have to type in. I'm so sorry. We cannot unmute anyone. You can uh, put a personal message to me on the chat. I'll try to answer your question. This is a beautiful way that the human brain is designed. 
do you know why are we addicted to something you know all of us who are meditators we practice the sudarshan kriya we are really addicted to that meditation do you know why it's because thanks to all these hormones which get released in the body so dopamine is uh, released when your brain is expecting a reward facebook like dopamine hit isn't it oxytocin oxytocin has a very important uh, physiological effect you know and emotional like mothers when they are giving birth they are you know nature just gushes oxytocin into their body and that's the reason why in spite of the pain mothers are looking forward to meeting their child more than you know handling the pain it's a very powerful hormone endorphins the feel good hormones again uh in fact uh whenever you get hurt agar aap kahin pe gir gaye hain chot lag gaya to immediately the brain releases endorphins which helps reduce the pain uh in fact uh if your body is not producing enough endorphins then it can promote addictive behavior pain discomfort aches so it's very important that your glandular system is balanced and serotonin you know a feel good hormone it is important uh because serotonin also regulates your digestive system and your sleep and aap jante hain ki dono pachan shakti aur neend ye dono hamare physiological health ke liye kitne important hai okay so dopamine oxytocin endorphins and serotonin the feel good hormones now let's see inka kya connection hai hamare habit or addiction se whenever a trigger happens you know it could be a physical trigger an emotional trigger a memory Uh, or maybe you are alone in the room so what do i do now the next is when you are alone in a room you have a craving acha what should i do now there is the brain seeks either pain or pleasure uh, sorry it either seeks to let go of pain or get pleasure so now if you are alone in a room maybe the pain of boredom or the pleasure of you know reaching out for your phone and what happens dopamine is getting released serotonin is getting released isn't it connecting friends getting likes seeing something and this is conscious behavior so when the brain is seeing this is constantly something they are doing neural pathways are getting created in the brain subconsciously and when this is done you are investing 2 hours 3 hours 6 hours every day day in and day out it slowly turns into a habit you cannot do without it bina phone subah uth ke bina phone dekhe hue din hamara shuru nahi hota ya raat mein phone dekhe bina what if there's an urgent message what if there's an urgent email this happens right it's nothing but your natural reaction to a habit that has been formed in your brain and the neural pathway which was formed during behavior is getting strengthened with continuous use the damage gets done when it becomes so ingrained itna hardwired ho jata hai ki ab ye addiction ho jata hai ki iske access ke bina you know it starts creating a problem for us so children can display if you don't allow them to use the phone or don't allow them to use the screen then children who display uh, behavior like anxiety restlessness anger nomophobia nomophobia is uh, what if i if i don't have the phone i will be missing out you know like fomo usi tarah nomophobia phone ka missing out uh, term hai jab ye sab display hone lagta hai then you need to really uh do something about it because these are indications that your child is now addicted or an adult is addicted to the phone or the ipad okay so very quick recap a trigger can uh initiate a craving and the craving if it is consciously uh indulged in we have behavior constant behavior habit and a habit which gets so hardwired can also turn into an addiction this is not the way to live life right there is always an answer let's see how we can use our brain to help us overcome this when there is a you have to change the trigger how do you break the pattern so uh this is school khatam ho ke the initial uh, this is obviously uh, online schooling but offline schooling ke baad bhi once the children come home first reaction hoga mama can i check the phone so break that pattern jo bhi unki habit hai wahan par aap kisi physical activity se replace kar dijiye like take a walk ya khana serve karte hain ya go take a bath anything which does not involve the phone 
वॉट एवर इज द टाइम वेन द चाइल्ड रीच इज आउट फॉर द फोन चाहे छह बजे हो चाहे पांच बजे हो चाहे दो बजे हो वॉट एवर इज द टाइम ब्रेक दैट पैटर्न रिप्लेस द फोन विद समथिंग फिजिकल इट कुड बी कुकिंग इट कुड बी रीडिंग इट कुड बी टेकिंग अ वॉक स्पोर्ट्स हॉबी एनी थिंग बट समथिंग विच इज फिजिकल कनेक्टेड टू द रियल वर्ल्ड वेन यू चेंज द ट्रिगर वॉट्स हैपनिंग इज द ब्रेन इज स्टिल गेटिंग रिवॉर्डेड यू नो when you are appreciating the child oh wow you have served the table or i feel good when you did that i feel good that you did this you know you helped me so you are still rewarding the child's good behavior and the dopamine serotonin they were getting from facebook and insta likes is being replaced by something real world and more meaningful things isn't it um uh, again playing games doing yoga and especially practicing sudarshan kriya is so helpful to the child um i don't have words to say we'll see more about sudarshan priya uh, in the slides later but what happens is you are slowly replacing their dopamine kick with human values you're making them more sensitive to the environment you are inculcating a habit of responsibility in them isn't it so you are now replacing the craving with a very determined and conscious practice of a value system and when they are practicing this day in and day out when you are bringing this up ye unke behavior mein le aate hain human values ko yahi human values unki aadat ban jati hai so what is getting hardwired is human values and addictions get replaced with helpful patterns and good habits which become a very strong value system in the child and it doesn't end at childhood these children will grow up jaise ek chote paudhe mein aap agar यू you नो know, अगर आप बीज अच्छा बोते हैं अगर आप उसमें पानी और खाद डालते हैं दैट स्मॉल सैपलिंग विल ग्रो इन टू अग स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्री विद डीप रूट्स ये संस्कार जो आप बच्चों को देते हैं दिस विल रिजल्ट इन देम बींग वेरी सक्सेसफुल इंडिया करियर दे विल बी लीडर्स इन दियर कम्युनिटी दे विल दीज आर द चेंज मेकर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कैन यू सी द डिफरेंस जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग वन हैबिट with something more meaningful can have such a long term effect on your child's future are you all still with me boring to nahi ho raha na i hope okay so this is again uh, how do we reprogram our brain you know it takes 21 days to form between 21 to 40 days to form a new habit ensure that whatever you are doing is systematic it's part of their routine in a very systematic way it is consistent aaj aapne ek unko chalne ke liye bola ya table le karne ke liye bola and tomorrow you forget it's not like that you have to be very consistent over these 21 to 40 days and any feedback has to be positive it cannot be tum mujhe help nahi karte you can't do this no no the brain then wants to avoid pain so the children will you know shut you off we don't want that to happen it has to be positive honest firm and friendly at the same time okay still with me so repetition uh, is the key to reprogram your brain what are some short term solutions to break the addiction or to form good habits phone pe disable all notifications social media notification whatsapp notifications in put disable kar dijiye हो सके तो स्क्रीन को ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट कर दीजिए इट्स द कलर्स यू नो द मेडली ऑफ कलर्स विच अट्रैक्ट द ब्रेन रादर देन जस्ट द मैसेज सो इफ यू टर्न इट ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट इट्स नो लॉन्गर अट्रैक्टिव फॉर देम ऑल्सो वी हैव समथिंग नोन एज यू नो यू कैन टर्न ऑफ द फोन देर आर दीज एप्लीकेशन अवेलेबल इन द फोन सो यू कैन सिंपली स्विच ऑफ द फोन आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम especially agar aapko achhi neend chahiye bachcho ke liye to maybe 9 9:30 8 8:30 8, whatever time you decide together it has to be a joint decision if the child has to stick to it just simply turn off the phone social life mein this is the settings on the phone social life mein kya aap kar sakte hain uh, social media sorry log out every time you know procrastination is something jo hum bolte it's a very bad habit but the brain's procrastination can be used for our benefit also Every time आप सोशल मीडिया से लॉग आउट करते हो वेन यू आर लॉगिंग इन यू हैव टू लॉग इन अगेन योर ब्रेन विल स्टार्ट प्रोक्रास्टिनेटिंग दैट सो देर इज अ वेरी हाई चांस दैट यू मे नॉट इवन लॉग इन टू सोशल मीडिया एज ऑफन एज यू डू 
So log out every time from social media apps. Lock. There are apps which monitor screen times and lock the screen during schedule time. Uh, as much as you trust your child, this is helping your child. Uh, especially if you are a working parent, you don't have control on when they will be having access to the screen time. Investing in such apps is a wonderful idea. Replace. Very important. Whatever time that they are, can we go on mute, please? Whatever time that they are uh, using for the phone or the screen time, replace it very systematically with activities to break the pattern. Like I said, something in the real world. It could be painting, singing, dancing. Just take them out for a walk, uh, gardening, cooking, anything. You know, but which does not involve the screen. Replace screen time with real world habits and hobbies. Reward, most important. Appreciate the behavior, not the child. Don't appreciate that, oh, you have, you know, you are so good child. The brain doesn't understand, good child, but for what? Appreciate the thing that they have done. You know, Manisha, I really like the fact that you did not take the phone and you laid out the table instead. Appreciate that behavior, be specific. And always and always support your child positively. Be honest about communication. If you are hurt by some behavior, there is no harm in acknowledging it. Instead of saying, just go ahead and share your feelings. You know, when you did not listen to me and you took the phone, I felt hurt. As a parent, I felt I did not have control. Keep your communication direct. Keep it positive. And just look at how beautiful the parent-child bond will become over time. Still with me? Then let's look at some long-term solutions. There is, it's important, uh, see, we cannot, uh, you know, be ostriches with our heads in the sand. Hum, we can't be blind to the fact that online and technology, you know, social media is the way the world is going to be. This reality. We can't But it is very important to understand a few things and make those changes accordingly. Online education and online activities, those separate things. Hai. Allow them time for online education, whatever research they have to do, but ensure that online activities are restricted. And the best way to do this is to be a role model yourself. You can't be on the phone checking, emailing, when you're telling the child, don't do this. If you're setting a shutdown time in the house, try to see if you are the rules ko follow kar sakte. The child will be that much more appreciative. Utna zyada wo bacha aapki baat manega. So when we say no phones during food, it means for everyone. Sabhi koi khana khate sa me apne phone side me rakte. Ya agar hum kehte hai Sunday three hours is no screen time ya Sunday the whole day is no screen time then it applies for everybody. Be practical about it. Long-term solutions, ke liye, some of the things that we can do is uh, we have to create a daily routine for everyone, like I said, and we stick to it, we honor it. Set goals together. If your child is 6 hours or 5 hours or 2 hours on the uh, online screen time, pe hai, you cannot magically expect that it will become zero. That's not realistic. Set a goal ki for the next week, 6 hours will become 5 hours. Next week, 5 hours becomes 4 hours. And gradually reduce their habit and their dependence on these gadgets. Uh, keep appreciating. When, you, when they have met these goals, keep rewarding it. Keep appreciating it. Don't bribe them with things. Ki main ye dunga, wo dunga. No, no bribing. The reward should be your love and your appreciation, which the child craves the most. Turn off. Uh, there's a beautiful video by Gurudev. Uh, it was very early in the But he said that after 10 years, the children don't need to go to the phone in their hands. Because the radiation affects them, right? Um, mobile games, not uh, Turn off your Wi-Fi in the night before sleeping. In the night, you can turn off your Wi-Fi. Before sleeping, you can turn off blue screen completely off. So if your child is sleeping at say 9.30, to 7.30, ke baad, no online time for them. And probably that applies to you also, if possible. Uh, follow kare. It's so much more important. See, remember the damage it's doing to your child. I think that will be a motivation for you to reduce 
your dependence on the screen as well. Ensure that there's a six inch distance between the mobile or the device and your child. Because radiation, uh, these are short, like I said, they are, you know, radio waves, short uh, frequency. Ke hote hain. So, jitna aap apne body or device mein distance increase karte hain, utna radiation ka asar kam hota hai. So, at least a six inch gap, um, turning off the Wi Fi, uh, very important uh, that don't, uh, you know, limit. The time that they see to maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes ke burst. Uske baad, let them look away, let them go walk, take a walk and come. So 15 minutes is zyada ek baan mein. So even if they have to study for one and a half hours, every time after 15 minutes, they keep taking a break. So turning off the radiation is very important for detox. Very important. Once in a while, do a social detox. Ki pure Sunday to mein use hi karunga, WhatsApp. Yeah, I will just not check. I will just not go online. You want to increase the challenge, do it for three days. You want to increase the challenge further, entire week. And people are nowadays aware and they are willing to help you for this. You know, especially when you're on vacation. Vacations, absolutely no phone. I know it may sound funny to some of y'all, but we have done it. Like, I know some of my friends who have done it. My family mein hum log ne kiya hai. And trust me, the vacation is so much more better. <laughs> you come back so much more relaxed, full of energy. So go for it. Turn off once in a while. Replace. Replace gadget usage with some healthy habits. And the body and the brain will respond. When they see that they are getting their hormonal kicks from something which is not dependent on the device, those habits and those value systems will definitely come. I uh, advise Sudarshan Priya to every parent who comes to me for counseling or to every parent who comes to do the course, I tell them that, you know, help your child um, get into a habit of meditation. And for that, it's important that as a parent, aap to the example set kare. You know, they say a family that eats together stays together. Eat a meal together once a day at least. Meditate together. That's just a beautiful way to get your child to get into these healthy habits. And enroll others. This habit is not damaging just your child's brain. It's damaging the brain of every other child in your neighborhood, in your school, in your coaching class. Mein. This is something which we cannot fight just on an individual level. It needs a community level intervention. Have programs like this, like digital detox programs. Have it in schools. Uh, become a crusader for it. You know, talk to communities, talk to your friends, parents and have these rules, these routines formed for the entire group of friends. I am telling you, when such protocols are followed in a community, the chance of it sticking on for the child, of having this successful is that much more higher. I am sure you will agree. Karo bhi. So please, if you are taking uh, level pay efforts le rahe, it is wonderful. But if you really want to Make a difference. Please go out and speak to schools, uh, speak to your neighbors and ensure that these uh, routines are followed for children all around. Especially, especially the children who uh, play with your children, who play regularly. Interact karte hai. That is the best way that, you know, it's really the best long-term solution possible. Uh, these are some benefits of Sudarshan Kriya Yoga. I have personally seen this. I have... Uh, personally seen the change in my behavior, in my attitude with regular practice of Sudarshan Kriya Yoga. Uh, on the left, is uh, this is an EEG beta, beta wave activity of the brain. So you can see on the right hand side, these are meditators of people who have been practicing the Sudarshan Kriya regularly. And uh, you can see the red areas, you know, the warm tones indicate heightened alertness, mental focus, and mental activity. So Sudarshan Kriya actually makes you smarter. These are again some benefits. Uh, we have seen both in adults and children. With regular practice, practice of the Sudarshan Kriya, within uh, two weeks, in, in six weeks, we have seen a 33%, one third increase in immunity. In two weeks, cortisol, which is a stress hormone, goes down by more than 50%. Stress automatically logo ka kam hota hai. And life satisfaction within a week increases to 21%. It's nothing but a play of hormones in the body. So Darshan Kriya helps regulate your glandular system. And that's how it's extremely effective in making you healthy 
and happy at the same time. No wonder the adults program is called happiness program. Uh, these are programs that we offer for children. They are available in both online and offline format. Uh, for children aged 8 plus to 13 years, there is something known as online Utkarsh Yoga. For teenagers aged 13 plus, they have to complete 13. And up to 18 years, we, you, we offer Medha Yoga Level 1. And you can get uh, more details about this on our website, artofliving.org forward slash CT, children and teens. Pragya Yoga intuition process is something many of y'all have heard and I highly recommend it. It's a two-day, two-hour program which with exercises and meditation specifically aimed at, uh, uh, at enlivening your child's intuition. And trust me, a child who is intuitive will know the harmful effect that on, online and on screen has for them. Children naturally who, who practice Pragya Yoga intuition process meditation regularly, I have seen them Reduce their online screen time with very little external motivation. Under say intrinsically, it tells them this is not good for them. They stop the habit. So Sudarshan Kriya, yogic techniques, along with practical tools and interactive games that we have during our programs. Uttarsh Yoga for children, Medha Yoga for teens, and Pragya Yoga for the entire age group. They are designed in such a way so that, uh, you know, physiologically, anxiety is, in, is reduced, focus is improved. Retention is improved and at the same time, uh, children develop a certain wisdom while maintaining their innocence. I tell you, it's the best combination available in the market right now for children. So to conclude, we admit and we acknowledge that social media and the internet are a reality and they can actually help. You know, they have actually helped change the world. Uh, it's helped make the world a better place. All we need to be aware of is a controlled use of technology. The problem is unmonitored online time, which is leading to gadget addiction. And we have already spoken about the harmful effects of radiation, which are irreversible in children. Let us replace this with good habits and start them early. When we teach our children martial arts, music, dance, which are very good habits because they build resilience and dedication, perseverance over time. We start off as young as possible. Similarly, meditation, yoga are habits that we need to develop in our child from a young age. And just like herd immunity, gadget addiction needs to be dealt with on a community level. School-wide programs are important. Parent counseling is important. We need to come together as a parent community and work on real solutions to safeguard our children's health and their mental development. I'd like to end again with, a, with one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite people. Technology can be used to hurt people if human values are missing from it. Let's use technology by combining spirituality with it so that we can use it for the betterment of mankind and of our world and for a better planet. This is the end of the digital detox session. Thank you so much. This is Manisha Chandra from the Children and Teens Desk signing off. Let's empower our children with the right habits at the right time. That's our website once again for you. And that's the Pune uh, link tree for courses from Pune. So keep in touch with us and over to the media team. Thank you. Are there any questions? What age can they start, Sudarshan Kriya? Thank you, Mayesh ji. Uh, eight years, not seven. They have to complete eight. Eight plus to 30, there is a separate children's Kriya. And then when they become teenagers, they complete 13 years up to 18 years, there is a separate Sudarshan Kriya, which we call the teens Kriya. And then when they complete 18, they are eligible to do the adults Sudarshan Kriya. Thank you so much. Santosh ji, any questions from the FB Live or YouTube? Yes, uh, Satyendra Patak asks, our kid was addicted to mobile and was watching kids rhymes on YouTube. We were able to stop it completely. Now he watches TV from 10 feet distance. How can we stop it completely? Uh, thank you for that question, sir. Uh, it's very good that uh, you have, you know, taken them away from the YouTube, uh, you know, constantly watching it. 
a little bit of it is okay. Ensure that it is for 10 minutes and no more than that. Uh, I will show you a little trick on how to disengage children. Okay, if you have someone with right now, one of you take a pen and start writing. Just write. And the other person, snatch the pen. How will it feel? You are writing something with a lot of interest. Se. Kuch aap, your brain is totally involved in it and somebody snatches it. The first reaction is anger. Right? This is what happens when the child is watching the phone and you snatch it. The correct way to disengage them is first, get them into a conversation. Achha, what are you watching? This cartoon. Achha, ye character kaun hai? Are ye bada funny hai. Achha, isme aur kaun hai? You're seeing what is happening? You're disengaging them from the phone and engaging them in a conversation with you. After a few seconds, just tell them, is it okay? If I just take the phone for some time, I think you've been watching it for a long time. Baad mein fir se dekhte hai. And then gently, with their permission, giving them the respect of an individual, take it away from you. Right? So just to recap, no more than 10-15 minutes at a time. Distance up but high. And you know, there are so many videos. Children are today, children are so much more aware. Aap unko videos dikhaya ki how uh, on-screen time is messing with their brain. I tell you, ye constant messaging unke brain mein jayegi na, ki it is not good for me. Children will themselves stay away from it. But it needs consistency. It needs a systematic education of, uh, and uh, I know it's not been covered, but many parents come and tell me, hum to kar dete, lekin grandparents nahi maagte hai. How many of you face it? Isn't it? So, yaha pe same education grandparents ko bhi deni ki zirrat hai. Dekhye, you all are on the same team. You love the same child. So, sirf thoda communication ki zarurat hai. Ye sare videos jo hai ki kitne harmful hote hai. Uh, these things. How, uh, how much more vulnerable it makes your child and how permanent the damage is. Agar ye grandparents samaj hai, I tell you, aap se zyada wo atur rahenge ki nahi dena hai hoge. So, get them on your side. You are already on the same team. You just don't know it. Uh, time of classes? Yes, ma'am. Um, the uh, you can go to the website, like I said, artofliving.org forward slash city. You can find online and offline courses for your city, for your area. Online courses anywhere. There are various timings. Like I am myself taking an Utkarsh Yoga at 10:30 a.m. from the 27th. So you can find any number of teachers. You can get in touch with us. And trust me, any teacher is good enough. A rose is a rose in London, in Mumbai. <laughs> and in Bangkok. So, enroll your child for the course. That is more important. Any timing, you get options of timing in the morning, afternoon, evening. You get options everywhere. And our team would be most uh, happy to help you. You can get in touch with us. I would like to spread the knowledge of Utkarsh Yoga, Media of Pragna Yoga. These are available online. Yes. Thank you, Mahesh Ji. Yes, uh, there is a program. We have a volunteer training program. After you have done the Art of Living uh, Happiness program uh, and after you do an advanced course, you can enroll for the volunteer training program. After you complete the prescribed uh, work or the seva that has to be done, you can also go for your own teacher's training and then you can teach these courses. Uh, Medha Yoga and Utkarsh Yoga, which is for children and teens, can be taught online and offline. Pragya Yoga or the intuition process needs a little bit more uh, experience. So we have only senior teachers who are trained to do this and impart this knowledge. Um, and it can only happen offline. You will not get Pragya Yoga intuition process as an online program. So I hope that answers your question. Santoshi, anything else? There are a couple of questions in chat in case you want to take it up. I did. I did answer them. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, please use this knowledge to educate uh, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Uh, if you want us to conduct these programs, these sessions in schools, we would be most happy to do that. Um, Santoshi, if you can display uh, the WhatsApp group where people can keep in touch with us. Or you can get in touch with any out of living teacher around you and they can connect you with the children and teens desk for this. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for your time. Um, 
I really, really appreciate the time you have taken for this very important topic. And uh, okay, so uh, Maheshi, I'm going to put my number over here in case if uh, you want to get in touch with me. I'm just typing my number here. You can get in touch with me directly and also through the desk. So wish you the very best. Here's to good habits. Jai Gurudev.